Hey everybody, Greg McCoy here with Muscle Nutrition. I'm here for this week's Q&A video. Um, as always, uh, you guys write in questions and I'll answer them. Um, whatever you guys want to talk about, training, supplements, uh, nutrition, uh, bodybuilding, uh, females, figure, bikini athletes, uh, just general fitness, whatever you guys want to talk about, write it in and we'll talk about it. Um, we'll go ahead and start uh, this week's questions. This question comes from Mai. Mai says, how will I improve my middle chest? Um, in my opinion, and some people may disagree, but uh, calling something your, your middle chest is actually kind of a antiquated theory. Uh, you know, in the days of Arnold, you could train every little last portion of your chest, but uh, for the most part, you're just training chest. Um, it, it's all one muscle, it all comes from here to here and connects. Um, to get this part thicker, the whole thing's gotta get thicker. So, um, well, I don't know that I have like a little secret for you that's gonna give you your middle chest. I will give you some great chest training techniques that will uh, improve your whole chest development, in turn making your middle chest that much thicker. Um, and also, I have a blog post on there. I'll make sure and attach it to this video um, that I laid out four weeks worth of chest workouts. Um, so you can go through there and for every month you have a new chest workout. Every week of that month have a new chest workout. Um, but basically, I mean, a, a big chest is built from uh, moving, moving heavy weight uh, a lot of times, most like any other thing. So, you know, you're going to want to do powerful pressing movements, bench press, um, dumbbell incline flies, or, uh, or dumbbell incline press and incline flies are two of my favorite. Uh, the hammer strength machines are great. Um, if you have access to any of the hammer strength equipment, um, you can use a lot of weight safely on those machines. So um, I would recommend building your chest program with three heavy pressing movements and uh, one to two fly movements at the end um, and really really squeezing your chest at, at the end of each movement and that'll help you you know as your chest fills out you know you have you have that middle chest that you're looking for as your chest gets bigger um, the uh, the next question comes from Kam Leash. he says uh, I am so thick and want to grow my muscles and take diet please give advice for that um, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking here, Kamlish, uh, but I think that uh, you want to get on a diet that will get you lean um, and continue to grow lean muscle. Um, that's a very hard thing to do, uh, but it's doable. Um, and it's, it's hard because it's uh, very individualized. So without knowing uh, too much about you except that you told me that you're thick, um, I'm guessing you probably have a propensity to put on body fat pretty easy. Um, so for someone like yourself that uh, is not naturally lean, um, you're going to have to be very strict on your, uh, on your diet and you're going to have to have cardio as a part of your program, uh, no questions asked. So, you know, I would start off with like five days a week waking up and doing 30 minutes of cardio, whether it's taking a walk, uh, taking a run, um, getting on an elliptical machine. Uh, the step mill is my favorite thing uh, for getting in, uh, getting ripped up and getting in shape. Um, 30 minutes. You want your heart rate around 130, 140 beats a minute, which is a, a steady pace where you're breathing hard, but you can still talk comfortably. Um, that will get you started burning the body fat. The next next thing to worry about would be your diet. So, you know, you want to be eating six meals a day. Um, you could do two or three of those as protein shakes, um, and I'd recommend our uh, ISO muscle um, as the leanest, cleanest protein you'll find that'll help you uh, get that lean muscle look that you're going for. And then the other meals, uh, you know, egg whites, uh, chicken, turkey, uh, any lean meats uh, that you can eat, and uh, limit your carbohydrates. So um, I would say um, if, if you know how to read a nutrition label, um, you want to keep your carbohydrates between 50 and 100 per day, depending on uh, how hard you're training and how active you are. Um, so my, my uh, suggestion to you would be start at 100 grams, and if you're not looking the way you want to, after a month's time, cut it back a little bit. Um, and, and that would be my best advice. I, I think you need to be strength training uh, five to six days a week, four to, four to six days a week um, to maintain that good hard muscle look um, so that when you start to lose the body fat, you don't just look thin. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, let's see, the last one for today is from Ankit. Ankit says, uh, any suggestions that would help me adding a few pounds with muscle and power? Um, the, the power part 
and the muscle part go hand in hand. Um, and, and if you're trying to build up your strength and in turn uh, build up your size, I would recommend keeping your reps uh, a little lower and resting a little longer in between sets. That'll make a, a quick, big difference in, in your lift. So, you know, if you're doing uh, deadlifts and squats and bench press, if you're training, uh, if you're doing 15, 20 reps every time and only resting 30 seconds, you're not going to get very strong because after 30 seconds, the weight's going to feel just as heavy as it did at the end of the last set. So, you know, you want to, you do want to be doing deadlifts, squats, bench press, shoulder press, heavy barbell curls, um, close grip bench press for triceps or dips, um, but just take a good 60, 90 seconds, maybe even sometimes when I'm training for strength, I'll take three to four minutes in between sets um, and, and really load on the weights, um, you know, as much as you can handle and, uh, and keep your reps in the, uh, you know, five to seven range. And I guarantee you'll start to, to get stronger uh, and, and be more powerful and in turn start to grow new muscle. So hopefully that helps. Um, thank you guys for writing in your questions. Uh, like I said, uh, write into the Muscle Nutrition uh, Facebook page and uh, I'll answer your question next week.